Hey, good morning, guys. It's Steve Cap, 5 JUF. Hope everyone's doing okay out there. Today, I'm going to do an antenna review on the Nelson uh, NFED uh, model. Uh, there you see on the screen, it's good 80 through 10 meters, and it's 200 watts. And what we did is we did some test data with uh, SWR sweeps and also some installation tips and guidelines. So basically, we'll look at the design real quick, uh, the installation. Uh, different sweeps. We did a full sweep and then we did individual sweeps with uh, data and voice in extra and general uh, spectrum so you can kind of see what the SWR curves were and a summary and where to order some of the uh, parts that we used and just some suggestions. So what's happening here is my friend Chris, uh, Whiskey Zulu 5 Alpha Bravo and myself, he and I are, have recently kind of jumped into the HF uh, venture, if you will. Uh, we've gone two different directions, uh, and which is good because now we can kind of compare data and compare notes. I went with the vertical Charlie, uh, Comet Charlie Hotel Alpha 250 HD, and Chris went with the uh, Nelson NFED antenna, which I'm reviewing today. And all the data you see in this report will be from the Nelson antenna at Chris's installation. So basically, uh, Two things going on here. Chris and I both talk on 3916. That's a very active, fun net. Uh, we jump on there about 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And uh, we rag chief for about an hour and a half to two hours. And then we come on, uh, Pete comes on with trivia. And then they have some other fun activities. But uh, 80 meters is a lot of fun, uh, especially at night. So it's kind of amazing who all you can talk to. All right, the Nelson antenna. This is what it looks like on eBay. Essentially, it is omnidirectional. Uh, rated for 200 watts. Uh, I think that's 200 watt sideband. And uh, it has a 49 to 1 uh, transform transformer toroid, which does the balancing or the impedance matching for your radio. And this is what it looks like on the website. Quick uh, highlights uh, it is has a 49 to 1 uh, bifly uh, wound toroid, 200 watts, 75 watts digital, and CW uh, with the 50 50 duty cycle. Uh, so it's both permanent for field or uh, if you wanted to do like POTA or something or, or permanent home installation, it would be good. The antenna has very high quality. 100, it's 130 feet long. It's made from marine quality 18-gauge uh, uh, tinned insulated copper stranded wire. And it also has a UV uh, sun-resistant dog bone insulator and, of course, stainless steel hardware on the matching box. So it's a very good quality. And everything is sealed very nicely, very nicely done. This is Chris's installation. Uh, what we've got, what he's got going on here, he's got it attached uh, to the house right here. And this is uh, this is where he's got it right here attached to the house. Uh, and of course, this is the line itself. And this is the pole over here at the end. So essentially, from a schematic standpoint, basically, this is what we have going on here. It's about 10 feet up from the house. And then you've got the uh, toroid right here, the the ballon. And then at this end here, this is where he has the uh, the insulator. And then you've got a pulley system. And the pulley system basically just pulls it tight, and of course he ties it off down here, and he can he can bring up the tension, and he can also lower it if the weather gets real bad. So really nice insulation he's got there. Really nice insulation. So anyway, that's what it all looks like. These are showing the pictures of the 30-foot pole he's got on one end of the lot with the fully rope insulators. These are the guy wires. Hard to see the guy wires, but you kind of get the general ideal here. Uh, right here is where the pulley is up here. This is the dog bone insulator right here. And, of course, this all goes back to the house. All right, let's take a look at the sweep here. We did a full sweep. Uh, using the MFJ225 with uh, IG Mini software I have on my laptop. If you're interested in this software or how I do these SWR sweeps, just uh, email me and I'll uh, get you set up with the software and uh, the, at least the configuration that I have. So what we're looking at here basically is 80, 40, 30, 20, 17, 15, 12, and 10. Uh, it is usable in all bands. Uh, we have individual data to confirm that, but it uh, that's what the sweep looks like from 3.5 megahertz all the way up to 29. All right, we'll start off with 80 meters. 80 meters is usable. Um, Chris uses it. Uh, he has an external tuner. He was able to get to work very nicely, so he's able to run 
uh, up to full power now, even with an SWR of about three. Um, so that's not bad. But uh, again, this is showing you uh, what you have basically down here in the CW spectrum. This is the general spectrum, or excuse me, extra would be in this region, general. And of course, this is 3916, which is where Chris and I and a lot of folks here in Abilene talk. So it's a very, very, like I said, very fun net. So uh, that's what we got going on for 80 meter. Uh, 40 meters, also very nice. Uh, you've got in the uh, CW region, you've got about a 1.4 CW uh, extra. You've got about 1.21. And of course, in general, you've got about 1.22. So 40 meters is fully usable. Uh, not bad at all. 80 meters, there's a little bit of a, a slide here. Uh, over here in the digital area, you've got about two, 2.0 SWR. And of course, in the extra region, you've got about 1.59. And then of course, down here in the general, you've got 1.31. So again, fully usable, fully usable. 17 meters, uh, basically it's pretty much flat all the way across, 1.7 uh, over in the uh, digital CW and then about 1.85, so fully fully usable. And here it is on 15 meter, basically again about uh, 1.2 and 1.35 over here in the uh, voice region. 12 meters is about the same, very good, 1.35. And then 1.4, so nice, nice there. And of course, 10 meters, a little bit of a change here. CW were good, voice were good, uh, upper side band. AM is usable at 2.09, uh, 2.19. So, yeah, just remember, even though you have an SWR of two, I mean that's high, but that there's nothing wrong with that. You're not really causing too much trouble there with your radio you know it two, two is 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 i have done two all the time so don't get too worried about that so uh, again you got an antenna tuner so if you have an ft991a that'll be able to bring that down but uh again very usable this is just a quick summary 80 meters is a little high over around 3.9 but uh it's still usable kind of recap there This is what it looks like on eBay uh, when you purchase it. This is what the website looks like. It runs about $109. And again, this this is really high quality stuff. I mean, this is not cheap stuff. This this guy, this is good stuff. I'm actually thinking about buying one of these and maybe setting up another antenna in the yard where I could actually switch from InFed to my vertical to Comet and kind of compare signal reports and stuff. All right, just got a cup of coffee there. Okay, so uh, this is the guy wire rope that I, this is what I use. I think Chris got the same thing. It's about 4.4 millimeter. You can get it at, um, you can get it at uh, DX Engineering. Uh, there's a link there. I'll put these links in the uh, description. Uh, good quality rope. I've had this rope. Actually, I put my antennas up back when COVID was going on. And every now and then I'll get up there and retention the, uh, the turnbacks or whatever they call them, the um, the the fittings up there. But uh, I don't have any problems with this rope. It is just as strong as it was the day I put it up. So for 50 bucks, it's not bad. This is kind of something interesting. If you want to extend your pulley system, uh, you might look at something like this. This is a crossbow thing where you could actually, like if you wanted to put your pulley uh, maybe a foot or two away from the mast and, and maybe put your hook there, uh, something to think about. Um, you know, you could buy this little fixture here and go get you a short piece of pole and cut it. And, uh, you know, I would get, get pretty creative. This way you can kind of extend your pulley just a little bit away from the mast. It gives it a little bit of slack there. This is some a typical pulley you can look at from DX Engineering Stainless Steel. It's a miscellaneous hardware. Uh, this is the band guide. I kind of made up my own band i was going to show you guys this is something i had done because uh, the arrl one is very confusing and it takes a long time for me to sit there and figure it out so i kind of made this little cheat sheet up but uh, anyway just something fun there okay well that's all on the video just wanted to share with you the uh, test results from the uh, 
from the Nelson uh, UJM uh, antenna and let you know that we've had real good luck with it. Uh, Chris has. He and I, like I said, we get on 3916. We talk uh, easily every Friday and Saturday. And I think, I think it happens every night. So if you're around on the weekdays, you can also get on there and talk. But you'll be surprised. You can talk to folks in Austin, Dallas, Missouri, Colorado. Uh, I know on my Comet CHA250, I can make contacts. I can talk to folks in Austin, Dallas, Fort Worth. I've talked to Pete. All good 5.9 reports. Uh, even on 40 meters, I've talked uh, to uh, Huntsville, different areas like that, Montgomery County, Texas. So I'll put together a playlist of some of my signal reports on the Comet. Uh, that way you can kind of get an idea of it. So anyway, hope you enjoy the video and thanks for watching.